Wabash Instrument Corporation, home of Winsco Products. Today we'd like to introduce a new accessory for your Van de Graaff generator. For now, we like to call it the electrostatic bobblehead. It's a hollow metal ball mounted on top of a slender plastic rod which insulates the metal ball from the base. And now let's take out our Van de Graaff generator and have some fun. This is a Van de Graaff generator and this is a discharge electrode with a wire grounded to the Van de Graaff generator. When we turn on the Van de Graaff generator, the dome builds up to about 350,000 volts and it'll discharge through the discharge electrode. It looks like it's working pretty well today, but nothing is happening to our bobblehead. But actually, it's being charged up. To show that it's being charged up, I will use the hollow cylinder to show that it's charged up. This is the hollow cylinder. If something that is charged touches the electrode up here, these two balls will repel from the surface of the cylinder. The Van de Graaff has been working for a while now and the hollow ball seems to be getting charged. Let's turn off the Van de Graaff and move the hollow ball close to the electrode and see what happens. If the hollow ball is charged, the two balls will repel from the surface of the cylinder. There you have it, the ball is charged. This is our discharge wand. It has a pointy needle at the end. If we connect the banana jack to the ground terminal of the Van de Graaff generator, the wand will behave as a lightning rod. Now let's turn on the Van de Graaff. Nothing is happening to the bobblehead, but if we point the needle towards the bobblehead, it'll start to oscillate. And with the right distance, you could have the ball oscillate without stopping. So what's going on here? With the strong field of the Van de Graaff generator, it will cause the electrons on the near side of the ball to be repelled to the far side of the ball. When you introduce a lightning rod to drain off the electrons from the far end, the ball will be slowly attracted due to induction. And when it gets close enough, you will get a spark. Now the ball is fully loaded with electrons and the Van de Graaff is a pool of electrons now the ball will be repelled from the Van de Graaff. When it gets repelled, I have the wand here. It will drain off the electrons again. The ball will be attracted due to induction. You'll get a spark, repel, drain, attracted by induction, spark, repel, so this is how it works. I hope you like this demonstration of our bobblehead and the effects of attraction by induction. For more fun at the lab, visit www.winsco.com.